Hello and welcome to another episode of Student Spotlight. I'm your host, Haley Marks. Today we'll be talking with Maya, a freshman English major here at Hofstra University. Maya is a published artist in a children's book called Marcus and the Chowder. So Maya, thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about the process? How did you come to illustrate a children's book? Last year I started a business painting portraits of people's pets for them and through a friend of a friend someone saw that I painted a certain style that they liked and they asked if I could draw kind of cartoon styles for them and illustrate a children's book with them. Was it a difficult process to get into illustrations? Absolutely. I have a specific style and way I like to work. It's very independent. So it was difficult to make compromises to how the author wanted the book to come out, but we worked pretty well together and in the end it came out really well. That sounds awesome. Now can you tell us a little bit about the author of the book? What's it like working with him? He's a really cool guy. He, uh, he's a lawyer in upstate New York, but he has mm -hmm. this really cool, fun side to him. He's a really goofy guy and so some of his ideas were even better than the ones I came up with. That's really great to hear. Now you also mentioned you have a, a, an art business. How is that going? It's going really well. It's been up for about a year now. I've completed about 50 paintings for it. I started it because I realized that people liked the, my style and mm -hmm. were interested in having portraits of their pets. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite animal that you like to draw? I like painting dogs the most. Uh, I like the texture of the fur and their expressions are just really fun most of the time. Although my favorite animal is a cat. I know you're also an English major here at Hofstra. Have you ever thought about maybe writing your own graphic novel? After college, I'm hoping to go into publishing, but it'd be great if on the side I could write, illustrate books, or write graphic novels. All right, well, thanks so much, Maya. Well, that's so fantastic. Now let's take a look at Maya working in the studio. Right now I'm taking an intermediate painting class here and we're working on two pieces. One is a, a palette knife still life. So we got a bunch of objects and we're just painting them with these, basically they're just knives and we scrape the paint on. It's hard to work on a piece over a long period of time and really build up the layers. With the palette knives you're scraping all the paint on and waiting for each layer to dry and then scraping another on so it's hard to get the forms right and really hard to get the shading right. It's really rewarding when you finish a painting. Once you finish and it, it gets somewhere really special I guess, it's, it's definitely rewarding. Amazing. Now let's take a lesson from Maya on how to draw the pug from the book. So Maya, what's what you got? <laughs> All right, so just follow along with me. You start out with this kind of lumpy circle for the head. Lumpy circle. And this is Perry the Pug. Perry the Pug, what a cute little name. The uh, main characters of the book rescue him from an angry restaurant manager. You do these two little leaf shapes kind of for the ears. That's cute, mine looks a little more blobby than yours. <laughs> you get the nose in, you do these two little half circles, a little triangle off the bottom. Little ice cream cone, I like and it. And add a line down. Kind of a peanut shape for here. Looks good so far. Add some little circles. Up here for the eyes, you do this kind of almond shape coming off of the nose. What's the plot of the book exactly? Uh, these two kids are on vacation in Provincetown mm -hmm. and they go to a restaurant every year but they hear this little pug who's in danger and he's the, re the secret recipe for the chowder in the restaurant is oh, nice. you dip a pug into the chowder. <laughs> so, That's so funny. It turns out these two kids have to rescue the pug from a restaurant manager. Oh, add, that's so cute. Add the tongue on the bottom. It's a little long. It's okay. And I like to add these three little lines here to kind of... He's got a scrunchy little face. <laughs> He's a pug. And then you He's just be angry. color in the dark spots. What colors uh, are the pugs? The pugs, brown, black, and white. Or tan. I like it. That's really fun. Do you know when the first book is set to be published? Uh, it should come out at the end of this coming summer, hopefully in September. In September? 
Is this going to be a series, you think, or just a standalone? I think it's a standalone book, but I know the author is working on some more coming out soon. Not some of the same book, but something new. Featuring Perry the Pug? We'll see. He's really into pugs. It's so funny that he's a lawyer and he's writing this children's book about a pug. He's got a lot of creativity. I guess you have to in order to have an, an awesome idea like that. That's great. Wow, I mean, your pug certainly looks a lot <laughs> better than mine does. I guess that's why you're the artist here. All right, well, thank you so much, Maya, for taking us through this process. Now let's take a look at how Maya takes critiques for her work. Check it out. The book is titled Marcus and the Chowder. It was written by Corey Mayola, and I illustrated it. I made my own drawings of what I thought they would look at like based on what I read the book. The book starts out with two kids on vacation with their families in Cape Cod and Cape Town. It starts off, he's introducing himself in the town and explaining like how he and Marcus grew up together and best friends. So every year they go on vacation and they go to eat at this restaurant called The Lobster Pot. And their specialty there is this chowder. And they go into the restaurant, they meet this really scary manager over there who has like this little squinty eye and a very evil waitress. So they go out and behind the restaurant they hear this sound and they don't know what it is. So they investigate a little bit and they find out that the secret ingredient in this amazing chowder is uh, pugs. And so um, they go back after hours and they try to steal the pug and when the restaurant manager tries to stop them they have to fight him and the waitress off and they rescue the pug and take him home. I got a lot about who the characters were, what the story was. I can miss how the book is coming off from the other side as the person reading it so it, it definitely helped when I asked my friends or my family or the people I was working with what they thought and what they thought I should change. Wow, look at that awesome drawing you have, Maya. Well, Maya, thank you very much again for being our guest on Student Spotlight. All right, let's keep drawing. Yeah, so much more to do. I think we should, we should add a little, little hat.